You guys, don't you guys remember how when we were raising our chicks in our barn, um, a little bit of a mess, well, not just a little bit. Um, so we've gotten them out into their coops and they're staying there um, and we have to clean out our barn. We didn't even plant these. They just are natural. What do you think of them, Laurel? They're pretty, super, super, super cutie. City. The garden. The garden. At all the flowers. More flowers? Right here. Yeah, these are going to be flowers. They're going to be white and purple. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. <laughs> Time to feed chickens. Today's a big day. We're gonna finally get our seeds into the garden. So first things first, dogs, chickens, goats, breakfast, then planting of our raised bed gardens. Fermented chicken feed. Ooh, man, this stuff is looking good. Look at that, so much better. Good stuff. Corn chicken birds. Plenty of chicken feet. Plenty of 
Come here, grab birds. These are lemon cucumbers when I was a kid. My dad would plant a big garden and in June, well, I guess late June, my sister and I would come home from school, or I guess early June, anyway, sometime in June. <laughs> and as we we're going through the field, we would pick the, these cucumbers and eat them like apples. They were so yummy. It's a wonderful childhood memory and I get to share it with my kids. We are without Liam this morning. First time formally as he's begun full-time job. He's working at the FBO as a lineman doing all the projects necessary to get planes out on the, on the runway, all the servicing and assistance as he works on his uh, private pilot's license. And that means it's the girls, Greta, and me. <laughs> and we're ready. Good morning, ladies. <laughs> back up a little bit so they can come out a little easier. Now I usually like to have feed ready for them when I let open the door, but that's fine. There's some there already from yesterday. What do you think, Laura? Hooda hooda! Hooda hooda? Hooda hooda! Going on in to check on the chicken babies. How are the chicken babies? A little bit well. They a little bit well? <laughs> oh, they're doing great. One, two, three, four, five, six. New chicken babies. And their water. Yeah, water. Very active. They're doing great. And the food is in. And to the meat uh, There's it is. <laughs> and this is the food for the chickens. Worms. Dry worms. Well, chickens have been getting out of the coop, and that's not good. I think I mentioned that previously. So what I've got to get set up is a little extension on the gate. That's where they're flying out, particularly Betty. Flies out of that every <laughs> every few minutes, really. So I'm gonna rig up an extension for the door, raise it a little higher. 
and that should solve that issue. Chicken. Alright, that's right. That's right. Be super careful. It's slow. Alright, final touches here. This is I gotta figure out maybe how to attach a section here, but this is primarily where she's been flying through, so we're flying two. I think this will stop that. So we're still working on names. Got a couple that are pretty clear. We got two pretty uniformly white ones, so that'll be challenging. This is Betty. Oh, that's Betty. Yep, there she goes. Betty, and the golden girls. Yep. And then the light golden one, we'll have to come up and name with her. I'm thinking maybe. <laughs> well, I won't say. Kind of a weird shimmy happening on the old mower. I checked the other side, nothing seems to be amiss. Uh, this side, okay. I've got belt is slightly off kilter, so it's just a little bit up riding on the wheel, but it should be dropped into this groove here. And it looks like the other belt in the center is probably can't see from the camera. But it's look, it's riding low. It's a one high, one low. I gotta get to that and fix it. Come on, alrighty. I'm getting it out. That belt doesn't have much longer, though I don't think. Got a decent hole. Oh, can see the shadow. Yeah, a little gash there. Okay, this one isn't flipped. It just has to make a bend in its in its course as it goes on that wheel around here, and then it turns on the, its inside axis and heads over to this wheel. Which you probably can't see from here, so it's not flipped, but it is sitting low on that center wheel. I think if I lower the <coughs> if I lower blade unit down, then maybe I can get in there. Okay, yeah, this actually looks pretty good. It's lowered down now, you can see, oh, you can see it's got the sun. This is just a really large guide wheel that it's on, so it actually is based down to the bottom, or it has a lip on both sides, so it's, it's in the clear. I'm gonna hit these, where, where are they, grease points. Definitely need to. Where's that? Can't okay, see. I think like we're looking at it right there. Grease points with some more goodness. All right. Need more grease, but got probably the most problematic section. Let's give her a test run. See. See how she runs. All right, we are headed down to the garden. We've got to plant those last four raised beds. We're excited, huh, Laurel? Are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help mom? Yeah. All right, let's head on down and get those beds full of plants and seeds and watch them grow throughout the summer and enjoy the fruits. It's a work day and the, um, we are starting a rose bud beds. Ta da! You can, See face, you can face the camera to yourself too. And this is us. We are gonna water them and put seeds in. Spread it inside it. Birdies, those are birdies. And that dirt. 
Laurel, should we show them the little plants that are growing? Yeah. Come over here. And this is the plants you can see. Uh -huh. Over here, Laurel. And oh. these are our radishes. They're just starting to come up. Well, we have a bunch of herbs that I am yeah. going to plant can in we? our garden well, bed I, right here. I can hold it. Oh, okay. Um, we're looking forward to it. I hope they grow and grow and we get to have them next year too. I know the basil won't. We'll have to plant that every year, but the thyme and oregano and maybe the sage will stay with us um, till next year. We have these four beds that we're gonna plant today. Um, some sweet potatoes. We're gonna try it out just with a few to see if it works. And I have one zucchini plant and a bunch of tomatoes, peppers, uh, tomatillos and we're gonna do a little watermelon and acorn squash and I have my helper huh Laurel are you my helper put these little sticks so I know exactly where to water all right Laurel you're on number three mm -hmm. of the nine acorn squash that we are going to plant okay where does it go hmm. How about this hole over here? Wait. Oops. That's all right, just put one in there. And then let's go, can you reach over to that one over there? Here, do which one are you gonna do next? Good job, okay. And then grab one. Okay. And where are you gonna put that one? Good. Oh, I'm excited about this idea. I don't know how it'll work, but inside these uh, tunnels, I'm thinking that all these tomatoes, I can plant along the edges. And I mean, they're, they're gonna die, right? Because I don't use them or I come up with a plan because I'm running out of room. I've got a lot of tomato plants. Um, Let's see, I already showed you that some of the radishes are coming up and the beets. Let's see if we have any beets. I don't see any of them coming up yet. Or turnips or carrots. I don't see those either, but I think it takes a week or so. And, you know, uh, time doesn't fly when you're waiting for the water to boil or seeds to grow. <laughs> What What's going on, Lily? Um, the boys are taking down the fence, Bonnie's fence, because she's now moving into the other girl's enclosure. So we are now enclosing um, the third area that we have. Okay, so the male goats are going to move down there. Awesome. And I get to finish this milk stand. That's only halfway done. <laughs> We'll do that later on today. Lily just explained uh, what you guys are doing. Yeah, using the spud for picking holes in ice in Alaska, chipping down three foot deep. If you use the these guys, you can actually drive it down in there and use it as a wedge to pull out the tea posts. Oh, nice. Because they are a bear to pull out by hand. Some of the, so if they're in loose soil, it's not so bad. This it is, is pretty rocky soil. stuff. So <laughs> this saves your back and... Leverage, right? Leverage. Nice. Yeah. yeah, brute force and some leverage. We haven't looked at the chickens a lot lately. So I'll have to show you them. The girls are looking so beautiful. And look, our little fluff head. Getting, she's getting her, her feathers on her head now. It's not a bald spot. Hi, girls. <laughs> I love this mix of all these different kinds. There's the fluffy footed one over there, all the feathers on her feet, all the different colors. It's a great way to get to know what kind of chickens you actually want to keep and um, get in the future to get this variety. 
it is time to put the rubber base on the goat milking stand. I did it halfway last time. Ran out of the rubber that you put on top. We are going to be putting um, some electric fencing up with this fence that we got. Oh, we put up in, so we we're doing zone three. We finished putting in the fencing yesterday. We didn't film that. Um, we forgot. Bending the wires around the pole. Yeah. The fence can stay up. Urgh. Come on, come on. Push, push. Pull, pull. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got one. There you go. Bendy bongo, roll up the fence, bring it down, and then unroll it. <laughs> hey. Huh. I guess this isn't going to be as painful as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Famous last words. And yes, you and she's got it until it's they come down. Like this only has a tiny amount of use for it. Right? Yeah. Honestly, don't, don't use it. Don't use it. Yeah. yeah. Support. I mean the fence. <laughs> she's in the fence. I'm on the fence. <laughs> yes. Lucy, your job is to grab this. Grab it. It's an easy way to hold got it. it. Yes. Okay. He's got his purse and she's got my Ow. Yarn. Oh, that thing came off. Maybe off this. No, oh, no, no. off here. Uh, okay, we're at the bottom section of what I'm calling zone three. We've got to add fencing between these two posts because we have a creek that runs through here, you know, a couple days a year, but it's created this really low zone. And as you can see, there's a good foot gap here. So I'm going to use this section of fence to close this off. Eventually we'll have pigs running in here, so we've got to get this contained. We'll run a hot wire later, but for now we need to get some fencing in this space. Unrolling the wire. Fencing. Wire. Oh yeah, fencing. All right. Um, so, uh, Lil, you've got... Here, let's... Well, bring, bring that... Uh, see, you've got those leftover bits. Uh -huh. Right at, at the vertical, you want to give me a hard fold, like about it, like direct. This is just going to give us for now the uh, um, basically an anchor, you know. Mm -hmm. Set them there, another one. See, not perfect, but sort of in that last one is too short. Okay. Dad's just twisting these so they connect, and then Lucy's cutting wire so Dad can use them to put that together so it doesn't come out of place. I'm putting on insulators for the hot fence. Dad just showed us how to do them. Just difficult. Bang! The first part is kind of difficult. I just have to do that. Yeah, the first one, it's on. Now we're gonna do this to all of them. Lily is going to be putting the hot wire fence on the insulator thingamajigs. Insulator. Right there. The boys are down in their new enclosure. They're enjoying this marvelous feast that they're going to have for a few days. Well, weeks, months, hopefully. Goats are doing their job, eating away at the blackberry leaves and all the leaves.
A lot more brows for them to clear. Good boy. Yeah, you're right. He just ripped all this with the remaining part of his horn. Okay, it's all set for when you're ready. I love peeling off the bark and then you just feed it to them. So we just got the boys moved over to zone three and um, we noticed that their fence was not very hot. It was just at 2000. And so we turned off the power for their old, um, their old pen and now um, their um, their their wire is a lot hotter, so now it's a lot hotter. The moment of truth here: four hundred, eight hundred, what, ten thousand? Oh, I just shocked myself. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you still rolling for that? Yes. Oh. Ten thousand. Lucy, watch your fingers. I. Yeah, ten thousand. Can they see it? Watch your finger, watch your finger, you almost touched it. Whoa.